Well, hello there, everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 1x2 delayed piston door. Now, what this is going to do is when I hit this button, it will open, stay open for a little while, and then automatically close. Um, this uh, I've made this wall here because uh, I'm trying to help out good so that's why I've made it in this form so that good can easily understand what's going on and, and implement it in in his build so but you don't you don't have to do it in this manner I just did it like this just to be helpful to good so let's open this up and show you how it's done what I've done is I've combined an RS nor latch with a monostable circuit and the trick that I had was to make it very very narrow because um, as we all know pistons require a lot of room to be able to open and then stay open until you want it to close and you have to have all this redstone and each redstone takes one block and so what I've done and I, is I've made it two by well however many the, the length is going to be however long you want the delay to be you can shorten this simply by going like that and then the delay will be shorter and unfortunately um, you are going to have to go down one but that's just the cost. It's uh, technically four high because one, two, three, four, because you need redstone up here. Um, and that's just the cost of using pistons, unfortunately. But this is this is very simply how it is, ha uh, an easy way to do it. Um, let me just fly up so you can get a whole view of the thing. And uh, so what happens is, by default, this redstone torch keeps these two on and closed. When you push the button outside, it activates this wire, which is connected to this redstone torch, which turns this redstone torch off, which turns this wire off, which turns this torch on and then while this wire is on the pistons are shut because this torch is off I mean open the pistons are open the doors open so it stays open and then the delay starts and then once the delay hits this wire it activates well this wire turns this piston or this torch off which then turns this wire off because this torch is powering this wire which turns this on and closes the door um, I think it's simple enough I don't really need to recreate it you can just look here and copy exactly what you see here the only variable is how much delay you want and that doesn't take much room and it was it was a trick <laughs> just to get it to make it too wide like this it, I, I worked for probably two hours trying to figure this out and then when you're done with that you can just close it off like I had earlier and you're done I don't know if you're going to put a roof on it, whatever. Um, that's it. To put a button on the inside of the door is really easy. Uh, unfortunately, it does need to be on the top layer here because 
you need to power this string of uh, redstone. So putting it up here works just as well. And again, if you want a longer delay, just go back here and add more repeaters. And you can tweak it until you are content. If you don't like the button up here, you could make an extra block like this. Like so. And put it here. And then just run another redstone wire if you want the button lower down. But either way, that's fine. Don't really need to do that though. Just put it right there. So, thank you for watching, everybody. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And, uh, yeah. Take care.